Get ready to enter the Thrive Time Show. We started from the bottom, now we're here. We started from the bottom, and we'll show you how to get here. We started from the bottom, now we're here. We started from the bottom, now we're here. We started from the bottom, now we're on the top. Teaching you the systems to get what we got. Clinton Dixon's on the hooks, I break down the books. Z's bringing some wisdom and the good looks. As the father of five, that's why I'm a dive. So if you see my wife and kids, please tell them hi. It's the C and Z up on your radio. And now three, two, one, here we go. We started from the bottom, now we here. Logan, how are you, my friend? Doing good. How are you, Clay? Man, I am pumped. I am pumped. I, I am pumped for for two reasons. One is that uh, you're a thriver of the month, and so I'm pumped to help you get where you want to go. And what's crazy is I never would have been able to help you without Thrive, because you would have been my competitor. And just being totally candid, I would have wanted to have, have just obliterated you. <laughs> and so now it's a deal where like. I, I feel great that I can help you. And I'm also excited because I get a chance to meet a guy in Oklahoma City I wouldn't have got to meet, wouldn't have got a chance to meet. And I'm, the second reason I'm excited though is I really, this particular topic can and will change your life if you do it. Okay. So like this is like, this right here, I wish somebody would have punched me in the face with this, you know, just punched me in the face my first year in business because had I had done that, I would have grown a lot faster. I grew fast, but I would have grown a lot faster. Cool? Cool. So we're gonna get into this. So constructing a duplicable and scalable sales system. First off, what does the word duplicable mean? Uh, it means it could be done again. Okay, done again. Um, that is right there probably in America today. You know, if you look up all the statistics and our program observer will put it on the screen, but the SBA shows that well over half, I'm just gonna say the majority, of small businesses, or majority of businesses, basically are small businesses. Some of the majority of businesses across our country are small businesses. In these small businesses, there is somebody who makes cakes. There's somebody who DJs, there's somebody who remodels, there is somebody who is a lawyer, and in there, there is somebody who does not have a duplicable system. The cake person, no one else knows how to make cakes but her. The DJ, no one else knows how to DJ but him. The remodel, no one knows how to do it like he does. No one else knows, no one knows how to remodel like he does. The lawyer, nobody can sue like he sues. <laughs> no one can do the research like he does it. So I am super excited. Now the next thing is scalable. What does scalable mean? Uh, uh, it is growing the business, making it more than just one person. Yeah, that's scale, the ability to, to grow it and to, yo, to grow quickly. They call it hockey stick growth, you know, but a hockey stick is like this and you go, whoa! That's how you do it. Gotcha. So it's really a neat deal. So here's the system and it's an over, overview here. One is you have lead sources. Where are you going to get inquiries from? The second is the first contact. It's the appointment setting. The goal when you meet somebody is not to book their face. The goal is not to sell something. The goal is to set an appointment. Cool? Okay. If you're trying to raise venture capital, if you're trying to uh, take a girl on a date, if you're trying to take a dude on a date, whatever your situation, if you're trying to take a girl and a dude on a date, that's interesting. But either way, you want to set an appointment, okay? Now the next thing is this, the, the, the second, the next step here, the third, this, this is kind of our third step. This is our second contact. This is an appointment. We've set an appointed time to meet. Now we're meeting. There we want to sell something. And then the fourth area is expansion. So once this works, we want to do it more and more and more and more and more. It's going to be really, really hard and important for you to get this done, this done, this done. And then once you have these things done, this just, you just involves putting more money into it, really, and it just grows. Cool? Cool. So here we go. Step one, securing lead sources. You're going to get these slides. Put, okay. Go ahead and choose. Billboards. Are we going to do some billboards? Geographically targeted, real quick. Uh, met a lady years ago who was doing a billboard campaign, but they didn't tell her where they are. Ooh. Digital billboard campaign, and the company never told her where they're showing. So she has a business that was in the Midwest, and they were not actually, the billboards were not appearing in an area where she even was. Ooh. So she couldn't even service the business. Cold calling. Demographically targeted. Cold calling is completely not a waste of time as long as you're calling people in your business who are engaged and thinking about hiring a DJ or something. That's a good call. 
If I'm in real estate, someone who has their house for sale, by, by, called a FISBO, a for sale by homeowner, that would be a good, that'd be a good lead. So you want to ask yourself, what is a good cold calling list? Okay? Okay. So I want you just to kind of think about that. What is a good, who, who are a group of people that I could target? Another example, if I owned a country club, I might say anybody who makes over 200,000 a year who lives within this certain zip code, I want that list. And I would just attack that list, okay? Because I know that my product is of value and that they need it, all right? Okay. So let's just say for this particular exercise that we say the dream 100. <laughs> that is, who has the capacity to refer you business? Okay. No matter what kind of business anyone's in, who has the capacity to refer them business? I'm gonna say put that on your list. Okay. The next is internet advertising. Banner ads, uh, retargeting. You know, retargeting is where you go to a website and you see an ad, but the ad follows you around. So no matter what site you go to, that ad's everywhere. Absolutely. So banner ads, retargeting, YouTube, pre-roll, internet advertising, okay? Internet leads. That's where you just straight up buy leads from a company. Mm -hmm. um, I think you know this in your industry, but there's people in the industry, like if you go to uh, Target, uh, well, Target won't do it, but if you go to a company that and you said, hey, I want to get a list of people who make this amount of money, who uh, are um, looking to buy a home, or who are uh, uh, maybe who, um, who have a home, if I'm a landscaper, and I'd say I want people who have homes that are worth this much or more, you can usually buy a list and a lot of times those lists are derived from big box retailers. So like they're pretty accurate stuff, you know hmm. what I mean? So, um, so like people that register for like baby stuff or weddings? Yes, Ooh. there is um, somebody who claimed that they bought the list um, of Target customers. Now I know Target has said publicly that they don't sell ads but, or sell the, the, the information, but find companies that do that, okay? There's companies okay. that do that. Internet advertising, buy internet leads, Lead buying sources where they're keyword focused. Magazines and trade publications, you know? Like if I'm a bride, in your case, you work in the wedding industry. Absolutely. So if I'm a bride uh, and I'm, what publication would I read and then be there? Okay. Or if I'm a home builder, you know? Uh, or if I'm in real estate, what publication do the, do the, if I sell to yuppies, if I'm like, I sell to yuppies, people who are willing to pay $6 for a cappuccino, frappa muffin, whatever, mocha latte, okay. What magazines do the yuppies read? Okay. If I sell to sports enthusiasts, if I sell to muscle heads, if I st whatever stereotype you want to come up with, if I sell to pale skin white guys, what kind of publications do they read? America! Ooh, America! And I want to find out and I want to be there. Okay. Mailers. You can mail. You can actually go in there and... Um, you know, you can, whoa, Billy, you can do mailing to specific uh, uh, targeted groups, again, based on their addresses, that kind of thing. Um, if things get really bad, you might do some megaphone marketing. I don't know if that's something you're into, but you know. <laughs> um, in my mind, by the way, that is what the poor networking is kind of like. Okay. You go to all these networking events and you don't. Public relations, that's like where you're top, you know, in the, in the media, you're in the news all the time. Uh, radio advertising, you know, ads on the radios, you can choose who listens there. Search engine optimization, where you can come up top in Google when people are searching. Social media marketing. Sign flipper advertising, not kidding. I have one business I work on where we kill it with sign flipping. Mm -hmm. We got a guy in front of our business that people would think he's all drugged up or all hopped up on speed. He's not, but he's just like, Rah! you know, all day he's spinning around, playing the guitar on the, from the sign, flipping the sign, waving the sign, yelling at people, come on in here. And for what? some reason, like, that gets a crowd. I don't understand it. What type of business is that? I can't tell you. Can't tell you. Very, very... There, I can tell you that one. That's kind of a secret sauce. Gotcha. People want to hire the guy. I'll tell you this, though. People in Tulsa know who the guy is, and they want to hire the guy, and he's my guy. You can't hire the guy. He's way paid. He's paid extremely well based on the number of people that come in. Okay. So this guy rocks like a $10 an hour job, but he's making almost 30 bucks an hour just going, wow, you know, just constantly yelling at cars, and it's bizarre. Anyway, sign flipper, television advertisement, trade shows. Mm-hmm. Website marketing. That website marketing is well. How, how's website marketing different from these other ones? Well, there's websites that you can, you know, be on their website. Gotcha. So all of the girls who are getting married go to this website. I can buy. I can advertise there. 
all of the girls, all, all the dudes who are buying golf clubs go to this site and I can buy an ad there. So which three do you want to do? Um, I really like, of course, SEO and social media, and then we've already decided Dream 100 is important to my business. So I'm gonna say search engine, Dream 100, you're gonna say social media? Yes, sir. Cool. Now one warning for America, and uh, the other non-Americas, non the, the other parts of the planet, social media marketing can be way overhyped, just like any of these other things. Mm -hmm. Example, if you do a ton of work on it and you never get a lead, stop doing it. Make mm -hmm. sense? Mm -hmm. Now, same thing with your, so, your search engine. I know businesses who put a ton of cash into their search engine and they're doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. They obviously hadn't seen the training that we have up on Thrive, but they're just doing it wrong or they're paying a company four or five grand a month to get to the top of Google, but they're never getting leads. Just whatever you do, make sure it's a good use of your time and resources, okay? Okay, it, with you saying that, that kind of makes me, because I've already, uh, already have a schedule where social media is something I do weekly. Yep. Um, is it in your opinion that magazine it might be my, my next solid area because of my business? If I were you, I would do calling. Oh, yep, yep. I would do Dream 100. I would do search engine. Social media to me would be like, I do that too, but that's not my focus. Gotcha. That's what I would do. I like it. Now, hop in here. So now we move into the next step here. This is where we have this rapport, needs, benefits, close, isolate objections. That's what this R-N-B-C-I means. Rapport, needs, benefits, close, isolate objections. Rapport, needs, benefits, close, isolate objections. Okay, so this is what we do. Whenever you contact somebody, they're gonna email you, hey, I'm interested in securing your services. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in booking you. I'm interested in buying from you. Mm -hmm. I want more information about your service. Mm -hmm. Most people request pricing first, right? Absolutely. If you follow this system, it is just like following a combination lock, and it works. Okay. Here we go. So imagine this is a lock. Well, if this is a combination lock, right? Those of us who've ever had a bike or a maybe a unicorn that we didn't want someone to steal, so we padlocked it to the, okay. But anyway, you, there's, a four, there's a four numbers that you put into the padlock, and let's say the code was five, three, two, one. No matter how motivated we are, if we don't put the number in right, we never sell anything. We never open the padlock, it doesn't work. Such is the, is, is the way that, that the sales system works. So you have to have the rapport first. Why do we have to have rapport with somebody first? Because no one's going to listen to you if they don't respect you or understand that you're a thought leader or... Okay, so here we go. People buy from people they like and trust. They have to like you and trust you. Tough to do, doable, tough to do. Mm -hmm. Now the rule is, this is the first rule, okay? The 70-30 rule. You want to make sure that the other person talks 70% of the time. Ooh. You don't want to talk at them. So if somebody emails me, they'll say, how much do you charge for the, all the time for speaking events? How much do you charge for speaking? That's the first email I get. So our team will respond, uh, thanks for inquiring. We have a lot of different packages. What's the best time to call you if to touch base for five minutes? You want to get them on the phone or you want to engage with them in some way where they can like and trust you. I have never... I'd say, I know it's a bold statement, but I've never gotten married just via email. I've never, uh, had, a, I've never had like a guy where I'm really, really close with that guy just via email. I don't, I don't have some best friends who I've just connected with on email. Mm -hmm. this, the 70 30 rule is you want to make sure that you're spending, you want them to talk 70% of the time and they have to, you have to connect with them. Now, humor will sell, logic sends the deal to hell. Okay? So if you're just selling logic, you won't connect. Okay. I want to show this to you. This is the word emotion, okay? Emotion in sales is what usually drives the person to take action, okay? okay. So if I like you, I'm gonna like wanna meet with you and do business with you. If I don't like you, I kinda not so much. Now it doesn't supersede logic and we'll get to, it doesn't mean that logic doesn't matter, it just means that emotion's more important. Cool? Cool. You're like your, view it like this. When you're building rapport, it's like you're dating someone for the first time. That's how you have to view it. Okay. But you're just hyper interested in every single word that is said, okay? Now, the script. You wanna have, you want, this is your homework, okay? This is the homework, this okay. is the first bit of homework for you. 
you have to script, anybody watching this has to script five rapport building questions that you can ask every single time that always get people to like and trust you. Cool? Okay. So in real estate, this is one of the questions I'd ask. Hey, thank you for calling Fears and Clark Realty Group. Uh, my name's Clay, how are you today? That's question number one, how are you today? And he'd say, I'm fine, how are you, Clay? And I would script my response. My response was scripted, my friend. So I'd say, I'm doing great. If I was any better, I'd be riding a unicorn into a black hole. I'm like, what? Just something funny. <laughs> and I'd say, no, I'm just kidding. Well, hey, what property were you calling about? Question number two. And they say, this property. And I say, well, what had you most, in what, what interests you most about the property? You know? Question number four. Tell me, I mean, this property or any other property, um, what's the main thing you're looking for out of a piece of real estate? And I have the questions all scripted. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, because they always start off by saying, well, how much is it? And you always say, that's a great question. Let me ask you. And you go into your script. Mm -hmm. So no matter what question they ask you, just say, that's a great question. Let me ask you. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. No matter what they ask you, say, that's a great question. Let me ask you. I hope that makes sense. It's almost like you're mentally not there. I'm sure my wife feels this way sometimes, you know, but it's, you're just so dense that you don't grasp it. You're either too dumb or numb to grasp what they're saying. So how much do you charge? That's a great question, let me ask it. I, one guy I worked with who's a builder, awesome. People would say, yeah, I'm wanting to remodel my kitchen. And he used to go, well, our packages, they'd say, well, how much is it? And he'd say, well, our packages start at 24,000. And they'd say, okay, thank you, bye. Through this system, he changed it where he says, well, let me ask you this. That's a great question. Let me ask you this. What kind of kitchen are you looking for? How big? How many square foot? You know, how'd you hear about us? He has a script, and he says, you know what? I, I can get you a quote right down to the dollar. Uh -huh. So let me ask you this. And he just keeps building. I'm telling you, you got to get people to like and trust you. Does that make sense? Yes. you got five report building questions you have to have. Okay. Next, on the same sheet of paper, moving to the needs. 70-30 rule. Still, you want them to talk 70% of the time. And why do you want the person to talk 70% 70, 70 of the time? I mean, you get a lot of information through that way, and you're, you're listening. It shows them that you... Let's do this one. We got a family, got a family, like a family reunion going on. Okay. In a weird, weird world, somehow we're in a family reunion, and we're at the same one. And I'm like, what? Logan? Family reunion? So we get these photos, and we're all, in the, we're all in the photo. Oh, there we are, we're all there. There's tons of people, we're all in the photo, we're all smiling, we're all just cheesing, having a good old time. Woo! Photographer takes the photo. When we get the photo, what do we do? When we look at the photo for the first time, we look for? Ourselves. Yeah, because we're sick freaks. So the thing is, people's favorite topic is themselves. Okay. Everyone always looks for themselves. Everyone, because we're all sick, twisted, horrible, selfish, Idiots. That's what we, I, the human race, not you, me, everybody, we're all this way. I don't know why if I get up to heaven someday, or maybe if I get to like, maybe if I get to like the exit ramp that leads to heaven, I don't quite make it there, I'll ask somebody. I want to find out why is it, but that, that's, but until that time, that's just how it is. Okay? So now we have, what we have to do is we have to help the person discover their problem. Okay? So go ahead and give me. Ask me one question that you think might be a good question to ask the clients you work with to help them find their problem. Um, so if they ask me how much, I would say that's a great question. But let me ask you this. How many people, or where's your event going to be at? Great. Now don't say the word but though. Okay. Real quick. Don't say the word but. The word but ends up. But's too negative. It pisses people off. It's a, it's a definite, it's, it's kind of like extending the middle finger to a member of the law enforcement community. Not that I've done that. I just thought I haven't read about it. But it's just kind of like it's a deal of like, you know, officer says, hey, you know, I, would you know I pulled you over? And you're like, do you know what this finger is? I mean, that's what it comes across like. <laughs> so don't do it, okay? <laughs> just don't so do it. So it's not just that's a great question. It's that's a, qu a great question. And let me ask you this. And let me ask you this. That's a great question. And let me ask you this. Okay. It's almost like it seems like it's act. Oh, wow, it gets a springboard from here to here. Oh, wow, it made sense. So let's do it again. Yeah, how much do you guys charge for your DJ services? And you say? That's a great question. And let me ask you this. It's good. You want to say it, though, like you're, like you're so dumb or so numb that they don't even process that you just Jedi moved them. Let's try again. Okay. So 
Mm-hmm. Ask me how much I charge. Go for it. Clay, how much do you charge? That's a great question. You know, you, well, let me ask you this. So I say, that's a great question. Like, I'm almost like, that, that's a great question. And let me ask you this. And I know, it's been a while since I've sold something. Let me do, do it again. Ask me again. Go for it. Hey, Clay, how much do you charge? That's a great question. And, and let me ask you this. It's almost like I've never said it before. Every time I say it, it needs to sound like I've never said it before. Okay. As a, as a human, you tend to pause and sort of stutter and think. But in sales scripting, people are like, that's a great question, and let me ask you this. And you're like, whoa, that was weird, man. So you, you want to script it, but you want to sound like it's not scripted. Does that make sense? Gotcha. That's a, that's a great question. And let, hmm. let, let me ask you this. That's a great question. So let me ask you. See, mm-hmm. that's a great question. So, so, so let me ask you this. It's like you're just, oh. you can say and or so, whichever one works for you, okay? Boom. Now, go to the next one. So now we have to discover their, so let's, let's pretend that you built rapport with me. Okay. Now we gotta find my needs though. I'm gonna give you one just to help you. A need is designed to, you're supposed to discover the gap between where they are and where they wanna be and you sell the solution. Oh, sick. You sell the solution from here to there. You sell the solution. You sell, this is a problem. The you are selling the solution. You're selling the bridge. Let me give you an example. So, Logan, have you talked to other DJs? Uh, am I the client or the DJ? You're going to be the uh, client. I'm the DJ guy. So have you, have uh, you yeah. talked to some other DJs? Yeah, I've, I've talked to one other DJ. Well, let me ask you this. Assuming that you don't work with us, what's the main thing you want out of a DJ? Uh, I want someone that's going to uh, play the music I like and keep the party going. So let's say that the, the, the party's going, you find someone that you like there. How, how interactive of a DJ do you, are you looking for? I mean, how interactive? I mean, how interactive uh, are you I want someone for? that's going to be there, but not on the microphone the mm-hmm. entire time. Have you ever been to a party where there was a bad DJ or a good oh, DJ? absolutely. Tell absolutely. me about the worst DJ you've ever seen. What happened? Oh, he was just fumbling. The music would stop uh, between each song. Um, <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, he, he would make announcements that didn't make sense at the time. Uh, he was doing things clearly out of order according to what the bride wanted. Here I come with a dirty move, but it works every time. And you know, Logan, um, what's interesting is that there's an article in uh, Modern Bride magazine, and uh, I'll, I'll send you the link to it. But it shows that the average person in Oklahoma spent over 20000 on their wedding, and that they will leave, the guests will leave early. If the, if the lights are great, the food's great, the music's great, you spent $20,000 on the perfect playlist, the perfect location, people will leave early if the DJ's bad. Meaning the whole, it's like being, it's like having a, a, a perfect romantic beach setting and right when you're about ready to just relax by the pool, there's a guy who, who follows you around with a bugle and he's just playing in your ear as loud as possible. Mm-hmm. It just kills the whole mojo. So let me ask you this. Assuming that your DJ is perfect, I mean, kind of describe to me what, 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 your, what, what perfect looks like and maybe what your worries are. Uh, my first worry would be uh, showing up on time, making sure they're there. Do you, do, you, do you read a lot of Modern Bride? I do not. Actually, there, I'm going to send this to you. Blow your mind. Over seven out of ten DJs, according to Modern Bride, show up ten minutes or, le- or more late on the day of the wedding. And again, I'm just coming up with these off the top of my head, but there's there's actual articles that'll show this. Okay. So you want to don't. I, I'm just I'm trying to help you, but I'm saying never say anything that you can't prove. So okay. if I'm on the phone, if right now if I'm a builder, I go back to the builder example. If I'm a builder. I'd go, you know what, I mean, what's your, what, assuming that you found the perfect builder, what are you looking for out of a contractor? Well, let me ask, have you, ever had, have you ever heard about a bad contractor before? Yeah, I have. Well, you know, let me, have you read the article recently about contractors that was in Wall Street Journal? No, well, it, you know, it shows that most contractors, boom, I'm doing is I'm creating a problem that I can solve. Are you feeling it? Yeah. Like a petting zoo. Okay, here we go. Like a, uh, okay, so you want to always create that problem. So how do you know when you move on from the needs into the next part? How do you know when you're ready to move on? Uh, when they have decided that the issues that you brought up are issues and they don't want that to happen at their event. You can feel it. Mm-hmm. Like it's a little baby lamb. You just feel it. You know, if you can feel it, then you can move on. But you can't just read these like, so let me ask you how of an interactive of a DJ are you looking for? Don't sound like you're reading a script. Remember, the key to a script 
is to sound like you're not reading a script. It's, to, it's, a, it, it's, it's a scripted, it, you're, you're preordaining how the conversation is going to go, but it shouldn't feel like that. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, so many people are like, well, I don't want to use a script because I don't want to sound like I'm scripted. Really? I mean, how would the movie Braveheart go if they're <laughs> like, hey, Mel, just when you get there, just throw down whatever comes. He's like, well, what, what's the movie about? Whatever you feel like. You know, just say, I mean, you're in this costume, just say what you say what comes, say what comes naturally. Say what comes from the heart. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the movie wouldn't even fit together. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that's how salespeople work. It's bizarre. Don't, so don't do it. So your homework is you have to script out five problem discovering questions. How do you know if it's a good system if you can train someone else to do it? Right? So okay. you have to have, so real quick on your, on your one sheet of paper, you're going to have five rapport building questions mm -hmm. and five needs based questions. But anybody watching this, I don't care what industry you're in, you have to do this. The five and five. Well, I read in one book you had to have 10 or three. Or, I don't care. Just have five. Five and five. Boom. Cool. So now we're moving on here to the appointment setting, but it's, it's the next part of it. We're moving on to benefits. Now, benefits show the customer how your product or service solves their problems. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So now that you've created a problem, now you solve the problem. Now check it out though, when you solve the problem, here's the problem that most people have when solving the problem. The problem is when you, when you deliver benefits, I want you to remember this, you're, you're, you're on the bus. Have you ever ridden a bus? Absolutely. Okay, well you get on the bus, all right, kids, well, when was the last time you were on the bus? Were you in high school, or was it college, or what kind of bus? Uh, probably junior high. Junior high, so you're on the bus. When you get on the bus, where's the bus going? It's either going to school or home. What if you want to stop and go, what if you wanted to stop and drop you off at a local gas station to get some taquitos? Not gonna happen. You're like, hey, bus driver, can we get some taquitos? No, this is how the, the benefits work. Okay. You have to now talk 95% of the time on this part. Ooh. So this part right here, by the way, the bus, should only be about three minutes long maximum if possible. Okay? So here's, where the, here's how the bus sounds. Well, you know, Logan, I mean, it, it sounds like we might be a good fit. Let me go ahead and tell you the things that we do at 405 Productions that nobody else does. One, benefit. Then I go, in fact, and I give it a fact. Ooh. Two, benefit. In fact, pff, benefit, fact, pff. Usually about benefit, fact, Benefit, fact, benefit, fact. I really don't want to go more than three or five benefits, but benefit, fact, benefit, boom, fact. Now, now I win. So 95 fiber, that you, that you have to talk 95% of the time there. Here's one little trick that my boss taught me. Faith Highway, Shane Harwell, if you're watching. Sorry, I'm stealing this without, well, I'm, I'm giving you credit, get over it, but here's the deal. So I, I, what you do is when you do the benefits, you just hold the phone like this and don't even listen to what they're saying. Just go. Like, just like you can't even hear. You ever been like around like your, like your grandma? Mm -hmm. You have a grandma that can't hear? You ever know a grandma that can't hear? Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. just like, and so I went, I went over this weekend over to the store and I was at the store and then this man, and you're like, so grandma, what? And she just keeps talking. Right. And you realize that she's not gonna stop talking until she's done talking. She's just, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you only can do this for about three minutes though, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then what you do is when you, when you do the benefits, you tell people, when people are gonna buy solutions, they don't buy the products or services. So don't talk about how old you are, how long you've been in business, how professional you are. No one cares about that. People care about what problems do you solve. So let me give them to you. Well, you know how I was telling you, you know, how you're, you're saying that you're, you're concerned that people didn't show up, mm -hmm. you know? Our company, we have a 100% money back guarantee that if we're even one minute late, we'll refund you. In fact, let me read you a testimony from a bride we recently worked with. And she just said, oh my gosh, I love 405 because her dude showed up on time and ba 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 Two, you know, I know you're worried about the DJ just, you know, getting on the mic and saying crazy stuff. We are the only service that completely customizes your whole deal before you even pay a deposit. We have met with you. We've got it all ironed out. It's just, it's beautiful. It's like a blueprint before we even get there. In fact, that's how he won the Boom -ba Boom Award benefit. You just keep doing it. Cool? Cool. So support all benefits with facts. You should never, ever say something you can't prove in sales, ever, or in life, pretty much, but in, <laughs> um, in, in, especially in sales. Mm-hmm. Okay? Not, not something that you can prove, 
but don't say it unless you do prove it. Okay. JT, do you know what time it is? Um, 4.10. It's, <laughs> it's Tebow time in Tulsa, oh. Jerusalem, baby. Tim Tebow is coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma, June 27th and 28th. We've been doing business conferences here uh, since 2005. I've been hosting business conferences since 2005. What year were you born? Uh, 1995. Dude, I've been hosting business conferences since you were 10 years old, but I've never had the two-time Heisman Award winning Tim Tebow come present. And a lot of people, you know, have followed Tim Tebow's football career on the field uh, and off the field. And off the field, the guy's been just as successful as he has been on the field. Now, the big question is, JT, how does he do it? Hmm. Well, they're going to have to come and find out because I don't know. Well, I'm just no. saying, Tim Tebow is going to teach us how he organizes his day, how he organizes his life, how he's proactive with his faith, his family, his finances. He's going to walk us through his mindset that he brings into the gym, into business. It is going to be a blasty blast in Tulsa, Jerusalem. Also, this is the first uh, Thrive Time Show event that we've had where we're going to have a man who has built a $100 million net worth Wow, who will be presenting. Now, we've had a couple presenters that... Um, have had a billion dollar net worth mm. um in some like real estate sort of things yeah but this is the first time we've had a guy who's built a service business and he's built over a hundred million dollar net worth in the service business it's the yacht driving uh multi-state living guru of franchising peter taunted will be in the house this is the founder of snap fitness the guy behind nine round boxing he's going to be here in tulsa Jerusalem, tulsa Jerusalem, oklahoma june 27th and 28th JT, why should everybody want to hear what Peter Totten has to say? Oh, because he's incredible. He's just a fountain of knowledge. He is awesome. He has uh, inspired me listening to him talk. And not only that, he also has, uh, he practices what he teaches. So he's a real teacher. He's not a fake teacher like business school teachers. So you got to come learn from him. Also, let me tell you this, folks. I don't want to get this wrong because if I get it wrong, um, someone's going to say, you screwed that up, buddy. So Michael <laughs> Levine, this is Michael Levine. He's going to be coming. You say, Who, who's Michael Levine? I, I don't want to get this wrong. This is the PR our consultant of choice for Michael Jackson, wow. for Prince, wow. for Nike, for mm. Charlton Heston, for Nancy mm. Kerrigan, 34 Grammy Award winners, 43 New York Times bestselling authors he's represented, including pretty much everybody you know who's been a super celebrity. This is Michael Levine, a good friend of mine. He's going to come and talk to you about personal branding and the mindset needed to be super successful. The lineup will continue to grow. We have hit Christian recording artist, Colton Dixon in the house. Now, people say, Colton Dixon's in the house? Yes, Colton Dixon's in the house. So if you like top 40 Christian music, Colton Dixon's going to be in the house performing. The lineup will continue to grow each and every day. We're going to add more and more speakers to this all-star lineup. But I encourage everybody out there today, get those tickets today. Go to Thrivetimeshow.com. Again, that's Thrivetimeshow.com. And some people might be saying, well, how do I do it? What do I do? How does it work? You just go to thrivetimeshow.com. Let's go there now. We're feeling the flow. We're going to thrivetimeshow.com. Again, you just go to thrivetimeshow.com. You click on the business conferences button, and you click on the request tickets button right there. Uh, the way I do our conferences is we tell people it's $250 to get a ticket yep, or whatever price that you can afford. And the reason why I do that is I grew up without money. Uh, JT, you're in the process of building a super successful company. Um, yep. Did you start out with a million dollars in the bank account? No, I did not. Nope. Did not get any loans, nothing like that. Did not get an inheritance from parents or anything like that. I had to work for it. And I uh, am super grateful. I came to a business conference. That's actually how I met you, met Peter Totten. I met all these people. So if you're out there today and you want to come to our workshop again, you just got to go to thrivetimeshow.com. You might say, well, when's it going to be? June 27th and 28th. You might say, well, who's speaking? We already covered that. You might say, where's it going to be? It's going to be in Tulsa, Jerusalem, Oklahoma. And someone says, Tulsa, Jerusalem. Uh, it's I'm really trying to rebrand Tulsa as Tulsa Jerusalem, sort of like the Jerusalem of America. But if you go to, if you type in Thrive Time Show and Jinx, you can get a sneak peek or a look at our office facility. This is what it looks like. This is where you're headed. It's going to be a blasty blast. You can look inside, see the facility. We're going to have hundreds of entrepreneurs here. It is going to be packed. Now, for this particular event, folks, uh, the seating is always limited because my facility isn't a limitless um convention center you're coming to my actual home office and so it's going to be packed so when june 27th and 28th who you you're going to come who you I'm, I'm talking to you you can just get your tickets right now at thrivetimeshow.com and again 
You can name your price. We tell people it's $250 or whatever price you can afford. And we do have some select VIP tickets, which gives you an access to meet some of the speakers and those sorts of things. And those tickets are $500. It's a two-day interactive business workshop, over 20 hours of business training. We're going to give you a copy of my newest book, The Millionaire's Guide to Becoming Sustainably Rich. You're going to leave with a workbook. You're going to leave with everything you need to know to start and grow a super successful company. It's practical, it's actionable, and it's Tebow time right here in Tulsa, Jerusalem. Get those tickets today at thrivetimeshow.com. Again, that's thrivetimeshow.com. Hello, I'm Michael Levine, and I'm talking to you right now from the center of Hollywood, California, where I have represented over the last 35 years 58 Academy Award winners, 34 Grammy Award winners, 43 New York Times bestsellers. I've represented a lot of major stars, and I've worked with a lot of major companies. And I think I've learned a few things about what makes them work and what makes them not work. Now, why would a man living in Hollywood, California, in the beautiful sunny weather of LA, come to Tulsa? Because last year I did it and it was damn exciting. Clay Clark has put together an exceptional uh, presentation, really life-changing. And I'm looking forward to seeing you then. I'm Michael Levine. I'll see you in Tulsa. James, did I tell you my good friend John Lee Dumas is also joining us at the in-person two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshop? That Tim Tebow and that uh, Michael Levine will be at. Have I told you this? You have not told me that. Oh, he's coming all the way from Puerto Rico. This is John Lee Dumas, the host of the Chart Topping EO Fire.com podcast. He's absolutely a living legend. This guy started a podcast after uh, uh, wrapping up his service in the United States military. And he started recording this podcast daily in his home to the point where he started interviewing big time folks like Gary Vaynerchuk, like Tony Robbins. And he just kept interviewing bigger and bigger names, putting out shows day after day. And now he is the legendary host of the EO Fire podcast. And he's traveling all the way from Puerto Rico to Tulsa, Oklahoma to attend the in-person June 27th and 28th Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshop if you're out there today folks you've ever wanted to grow a podcast a broadcast you want to get in you want to improve your marketing if you've ever wanted to improve your marketing your branding if you've ever wanted to increase your sales you want to come to the two-day interactive june 27th and 28th drive time show business workshop featuring tim tebow michael levine john lee dumas and countless big time super successful entrepreneurs it's going to be life-changing get your tickets right now at thrivetimeshow.com james what website is that thrivetimeshow.com james one more time before enthusiasm thrivetimeshow.com shine everything rides on tonight even if i got three strikes i'ma go for it this moment we own it eh? i'm not to be played with because it could get dangerous see these people i ride with this moment we own it Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops are the world's highest rated and most reviewed business workshops because we teach you what you need to know to grow. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business system that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. 
And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get rich quick, walk on hot coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying, but I want you to Google uh, the Z66 auto auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same systems that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever. And we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you and we're excited to see you. Now you may be thinking, what does it actually cost to attend an in-person two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshop? Well, good news. The tickets are $250 or whatever price that you can afford. What? Yes, they're $250 or whatever price you can afford. I grew up without money, and I know what it's like to live without money. So if you're out there today and you want to attend our in-person two-day interactive business workshop, all you got to do is go to thrivetimeshow.com to request those tickets. And if you can't afford $250, we have scholarship pricing available to make it affordable for you. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Whoa. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Harvard Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. Today I'm broadcasting from Phoenix, Arizona, not Scottsdale, Arizona. They're close, but they're completely different worlds. And uh, we have a special guest today. Uh, definition of intelligence is if you agree with me, you're intelligent. And so this gentleman is very intelligent. I've done this show before also, but very seldom do you find somebody who lines up on all counts. And so Mr. Clay Clark, he's a friend of a good friend, Eric, Eric Trump. But we're also talking about money, bricks, and how screwed up the world can get in a few and a half hour. So Clay Clark is a very intelligent man. And there's so many ways we could take this thing but I thought, uh, since you and Eric are close, Trump, what were you saying about what Trump can't, what Donald, who's my no. age, and I can say or cannot say? What, well, I have to, first of all, I have to honor you, sir. I want to show you what I did to one of your books here. There's all a right. guy by the name of Jeremy Thorne, who was my boss at the time. I was 19 years old, working at Faith Highway. I had a job at Applebee's, Target, and DirecTV. And he said, have you read this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? And I said, no. And uh, my father, may he rest in peace, um, he didn't know these financial principles. So I started reading all of your books and uh, really devouring your books. And I went from being an employee to self-employed to the business owner to the investor. And I owe a lot of that to you. And I just wanted to take a moment to tell you thank you so much for allowing me to, to, to achieve success. And then I'll tell you all about Eric Trump. But I just want to tell you, thank you, sir, for changing my life. Well, not only that, Clay, you know, thank you, but you've become an influencer. You know, more than anything else, you've evolved into an influencer where your word has more and more power. So that's why I uh, congratulate you on becoming. Because as you know, there's a lot of fake influencers out there, too, or bad influencers. Yeah. But anyway, I'm, well, I'm, I'm glad you and I agree so much. And thanks for reading my books. Yeah. That's, that's the greatest thrill for me today. Not a thrill, but recognition is when people, young men especially, come up and say, I read your book, Changed My Life, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Whoa! Hey, I'm Ryan Wimpy. I'm originally from Tulsa, born and raised here. I went to a small private liberal arts college and got a degree in business. And I didn't learn anything like they're teaching here. I didn't learn linear workflows. I learned stuff that I'm not using and I haven't been using for the last nine years. So what they're teaching here is actually way better than what I got at business school. And I went what was actually ranked as a very good business school. The linear workflow, the linear workflow for us and getting everything out on paper and documented is really important. Um, like we have workflows that are kind of all over the place to so the Having linear workflow and seeing that mapped out on multiple different boards uh, is pretty awesome. That's really helpful for me. The atmosphere here is awesome. I definitely just stared at the walls, figuring out how to make my facility look like this place. This place rocks. 
the, it's invigorating. The walls are super. Um, it's just very cool. The atmosphere is cool. The people are nice. Uh, it's a pretty cool place to be. Very good learning atmosphere. I literally want to model it and steal everything that's here at this facility and uh, basically create it just on our business side. Once I saw what they were doing, I knew I had to get here at the conference. This is probably the best conference or seminar I've ever been to in over 30 years in business. You're not bored. You're awake, alive the whole time. It's not pushy. They don't try to sell you a bunch of things. I was looking to learn how to just get control of my life, my schedule, and just get in control of a business. Planning your time, breaking it all down, making time for the, you know, the F6 in your life, and just really implementing it and sticking with the program. It's really lively. He's, they're pretty friendly, uh, helpful, and very welcoming. I attended a conference a couple months back and it was really the best business conference I've ever attended. At the workshop, I learned a lot about time management, um, really prioritizing what's the most important. Biggest takeaways are, you know, you want to take a step-by-step -step approach to your business. So whether it's marketing, you know, what are those three marketing tools that you want to use to human resources. Now, some of the most successful people and successful businesses in this town, their owners were here today because they wanted to know more from Clay and I found that to be kind of fascinating. The most valuable thing that I've learned is diligence. That businesses don't change overnight. It takes time and effort and you gotta go through the ups and downs of getting it to where you wanna go. He actually gives you the road map out. I was stuck, didn't know what to do and he gave me the road map out step by step. We've set up systems in the business that make my life much easier allow me some time freedom here you can ask any question you want they guarantee it'll be answered this conference like motivates me and also give me a lot of knowledge and tools it's up to you to do this um, everybody can do these things there there's stuff that everybody knows but if you don't do it nobody else can do it for you i can see the marketing working and it, it's just an approach that makes sense. Probably the most notable thing is just the, the income increase that we've had. Everyone's super fun, it's super motivating. Uh, I've been here before, but I'm back again because it motivates me. Your competition's gonna come eventually or try to pick up these tactics. So you better, you, if you don't, somebody else will. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine, and we just wanna give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just wanna say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house. Right? This is where we used to live a few years ago. This is our old neighborhood. See? It's uh, nice, right? So this is my old van and our old school marketing, and this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing, and this is our new team. We went from four to 14, and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past, and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman, so we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts, and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grew us 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now, it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month, and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship, and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you times a thousand. So we really just want to thank you, Clay, and thank you, Vanessa, for everything you've done, everything you've helped us with. We love you guys. If you decide to not attend the Thrive Time Workshop, you're missing out on a great opportunity. The atmosphere at Clay's office is very lively. You can feel the energy as soon as you walk through the door. And it really got me and my team very excited.
if you decide not to come, you're missing out on an opportunity to grow your business, bottom line. Love the environment. I love the way that Clay presents and teaches. It's a way that not only allows me to comprehend what's going on, but he explains it in a way to where it just makes sense. The SEO optimization, branding, marketing. I've learned more in the last two days than I have the entire four years of college. The most valuable thing that I've learned Marketing is key. Uh, marketing is everything. Making sure that you're branded accurately and clearly. How to grow a business using Google reviews and then just how to optimize our name through our website also. Helpful with uh, a lot of marketing, search engine optimization, um, uh, helping us really rank high in Google. The biggest thing I needed to learn was how to build my foundation, how to systemize everything and optimize everything, build my SEO. How to become more organized, uh, more efficient. How to make sure the business is really there to serve me, as opposed to me constantly being there for the business. New ways of advertising my business, as well as recruiting new employees. Group interviews, number one. Uh, before we felt like we were held hostage by our employees. Group interviews has completely eliminated that because you're able to really find the people that would really be the best fit. Hands on how to hire people, how to deal with human resources, um, a lot about marketing and overall just how to structure the business, how it works for me and also then how that can translate into working better for my clients. The most valuable thing I've learned here is time management. I like the one hour of doing your business is real critical if I'm going to grow and change. Play really teaches you how to navigate through those things and not only find freedom, but find your purpose in your business and find the purposes for all those other people that directly affect your business as well. Everybody. 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 Everyone. Everyone needs to attend the conference because you get an opportunity to see that it's real.